Good morning, dear friends. My name is Olivier Mubito from IPRS Kigali. And today's topic, we're going to design and construct an electronic control circuit. Just solving this situation. Using a sorting device, part had to be transferred from a conveyor belt. By pressing the push button switch S, the piston rod of a single acting cylinder 1A pushes the part out of the conveyor belt. When the push button is released, the piston rod returns to the detected end position. So this is the 1A or the single acting cylinder and they have a conveyor belt system or situation. So what it's going to do, we go to the pneumatic and we search for single acting cylinder. We drop it single acting cylinder here and then we go to search for directional control valve. 3 port 2 position. And then I prefer to use the one that has got manual and the solenoid in order to be able to simulate in both manual and the electric electrically. So we link the two like that. So we look for the source. This is the energy source, that's the exhaust. So let's simulate manually to see whether it takes them. It goes and retract the back. So we're going to call this single acting cylinder as 1A. That's going to be our 1A. Good. So let us design an electrical control circuit. We go to the power source. We need 24 volt divide. You can also use AC. It depends on the DC that you have. But by simulating both DC work, both supply works. So that is being the zero voltage. And then we go to we need uh, we just need to, to to search the output component and we go to find solenoid. Let us put a solenoid here and we call it solenoid. We shall also need a switch, which is a push button. It's that one. And we call it push button or S as listed. So we link the two items. So in order to simulate electrically, we have to link this solenoid to that solenoid. So we go to solenoid and then we link, we close. And then this is what we call direct control. This is uh, direct, direct control. We call it direct control because we don't have any contact here. We just have switch and the solenoid. So we simulate to see whether it works. By pressing a push button switch, the piston, the single acting scene has to extend. By releasing, it comes back. So let's see what what is happening inside. We press once again, the cylinder extends. We release, the cylinder retracts back. So we have spring there. That's what that's why you call it single acting cylinder. Now let us go to in that control. For indirect, we are going to introduce a contactor or a relay. We go to the output component, we search for a contactor. Now let's call it, uh, we're going to call it K. And then as we need to control the solenoid by in by using a K, we go to contact and we search for a normally open contact, which will be closing by supplying the contactors. So we link the contactor here and the solenoid. Let us link this contactor to the contact. Like that one, we link and then we close. Now we have an indirect control circuit. It means by controlling this, this contactor, it will switch this line 
and the solenoid will be energized. Let's do it. We supply here the cylinder extends by releasing the cylinder tracks back. So again, let's see what is happening inside into a single acting cylinder. We press on pressure on push button switch, the cylinder goes in extension. We release the push button switch, the cylinder retracts back to the end position. So this is the control of a single acting cylinder. It's very simple. What we have to do it is just to analyze the situation that we have and to think the list of material that we need, the list of components that we need in your circuit. We always have an electrical control circuit and its uh, pneumatic circuit. It means the electrical control circuit is going to control the pneumatic circuit. So thank you guys for, for watching my video. You don't have to forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. You go on the YouTube and then you search Olivier Mudito.